Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our wiper blade cowl. To get this off of here, we're going to have to remove the wiper arm. Looking at the wiper arm, there's a little tab that you can see closer to the windshield. We want to gently try to pry against that. You're going to feel that it only goes so far until you carefully lift up on the arm itself. At this point, I can tilt this as far as I need to, and then I can lift it up and away from the vehicle. Let's set this aside. With the wiper arm out of the way, it's going to be time to start removing the cowl from the body of the vehicle. You're going to find one Phillips head screw located close to the center here, right inside this first vent area. Go ahead and remove that screw. With that mounting screw out of there, we can start gently prying this up. When you do that, you want to make sure you use a plastic trim tool of some sort. You don't want to damage your paint using something metal, like a screwdriver or a pry bar. Now when I do this, I'm going to carefully try to get underneath the plastic, and then I'm going to use my larger one, and I'm going to try to separate this. Underneath that, you can see that it has a whole bunch of these little push tabs that are going to make their way all the way across. Now we can carefully start lifting this up and you're going to find your washer fluid hose which leads to your nozzle. Now let's make our way under the hood. Looking in between this area, I can see where my washer hose comes down. It makes its way into the engine compartment and then cuts all the way over to here. We're going to disconnect this by carefully grabbing onto each side of the joint and gently twisting and tugging them apart. Now we can grab this. Let's have it so it's in a straight line and it's ready to come up and out through towards the windshield. Let's pull it all the way through. All right, there's our driver's side cowl. Now when you separated the hoses, I want you to pay attention to the very end. Ours separated from the wrong side. I need to keep this part in the vehicle. So I'm just gonna carefully grab onto this. I'll try twisting it off. Sometimes you might have to use pliers or even a small pick but we will be reusing this little plastic piece. All right, there it is, friends. Before we get ready to install our new cowl, let's reinsert our adapter. Slide that right in there. Okay, friends, let's get ready to install our brand new wiper cowl. We're gonna take the hose and we'll carefully slide it through its corresponding hole. As I bring it down, I wanted to show you the push tabs that come all the way across this. Those are going to need to line up with their corresponding holes as well. I'm going to grab the hose from inside the engine compartment and start sliding it down. As I get this closer to being in position, have a look at the far corner. This area needs to slide underneath the fender before you go ahead and lock it into its proper position. There we are. Now I'm just going to wiggle this around until it feels as though my push tabs that I talked to you about are lined up in their proper position and then we can press it down to lock it in. Keep in mind, it's only plastic. If it takes a lot of force, you want to be careful so you don't crack anything. There we go. Back inside the engine compartment, let's reconnect our washer fluid hose. I'm going to bring it underneath the wiper motor. Line it up with the other end of the hose and our connector and squeeze them together.
Once you have it bottomed out, give it a tug to make sure it's secure so it doesn't separate when you try using the washer fluid. Tuck that aside so it's perfectly safe. Let's close the hood. Let's make our way up here, start putting in our Phillips head screw, snug it up. The lock should get into the locking position and then rest it against the windshield. Make sure it's in the proper position. You don't want it sitting halfway up the windshield. That's not right. Okay friends, we got our wiper blade installed. The process for the other one will be the same exact thing as this one. Thanks for watching.